Hello everybody. I would like to show you the difference between using a chopstick as a magic wand and using what I would call my conventional magic wand. Magic wand. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And as always, I like to use my demonstrations with coins. So in this case, what I have is I have one, two, three, four, silver coins and a cup. Now, if I was to do sort of your standard piece of sleight of hand using the garden variety wand, <clears throat> it's a vanish. A very pretty one and a lovely recovery. Yeah. So having said that, if on the other hand, I was to use the chopstick, you'll see something rather unique occurs. Yeah. Good heavens. Well, moving on to coin number two. Same thing if I just touch it like that. We end up with number two. So, moving right along, how about if I was to take the coin and simply rub it along the edge? like that, resulting in another. So last but not least, so if we could do this with, oh, I don't know, a little bit of drama, what if I just sort of waved it back and forth and it'll change to Chinese, from Chinese back to silver, from silver <clears throat> to Chinese and from Chinese one last time back to silver. And if we put that one back in the cup along with the rest, Give it a little twirl with the original wand. Oh, a little stir like that. I think we'll get them all back to 